Hi YouTubers, I'm so sorry um, that I haven't been able to put any iMovie tutorials up lately. I've been super busy with some uh, with my other channel, and then a giveaway that I just uh, put up live today that you should check out. And um, so I finally got the chance to actually um, bring out do the iMovie tutorial to actually um, you know add the tweaks to it, add the transitions and everything, and then bring it live. So. I decided to do a personal message saying I'm sorry for uh, missing out on pretty much a week, a whole week or two of um, missed iMovie tutorials. So here it is, and thanks for you know actually you know still following it. For anyone who follows it, thanks. All right, gotta get the door. All right, bye. YouTube, nice to see you again. So this is going to be our um, this is gonna be one of our this is gonna be one of our last videos of. Um, the tutorial of iMovie. We're gonna have another video after this, showing a little bit of uh, some special. We're gonna show um, a few special effects, about two special effects. Very very simple, very very easy. You're gonna be so surprised at how easy these special effects are, how simple they are. You know, very very beginner. But um, now we're gonna go into how to share this video. But first, I recommend you look through your video, watch your video, make sure everything's good. If, um, you know, there's any adjustments, any audio adjustments, any clip adjustments, I've showed you how to uh, crop your video. So let's say it's showing that you don't have a neck. You want to, you know, make sure that it's down, showing that you have a neck. If you want to fit the whole screen, that'll be good. But it will have these black bars, so that's something you want to work on. There's lots of tutorials online that's a little bit more advanced at showing you how to uh, get away, how to take those uh, bars away. I personally know how to take them off using uh, iMovie HD. They may be a little bit different using um, iMovie 09. I'm not really sure, so I don't want to teach you something I don't know. So it's best just to look online on how to take away those black bars by adding, you know, um, I don't know, um, by adding pictures or something like that. But um, so now we're going to go into how to share this video. So after you look through it, make sure everything's okay. You're going to click, obviously, share. You can um, share it in your iTunes, which is going to go right into your iTunes area right here. You know, save it into iTunes. Right here, you can save it to iDVD. If you're not familiar with iDVD, if you just got your Mac, iDVD is mainly where you can play DVDs, all that good stuff. It's going to pretty much save it onto uh, a DVD disc where you can play it on your DVD player, on your CD player, all that good stuff. Right here is um, mainly Media Browser. Um, it's pretty much, I'm not really too familiar with Media Browser. Mainly, it's just going to um, share and add to all your pictures and videos on your computer. And YouTube, obviously. This doesn't even have to be, you know, more explained. It's just gonna add it to YouTube. We're actually gonna go into YouTube right now, uh, and show you how to add it onto YouTube. So we're gonna click YouTube. Uh, here is my account. You can add your account right here. You can put in all your account information. Again, I can go into that. Uh, but all you have to do is add your password. So uh, let's pretend I'm adding my password right now. I'm not really. Um, you could change your category. So let's say it's about. Uh, okay, it's a little bit. About traveling, I guess you could say. You could add your title. So let's say, yeah, test video. I'm sorry, test video. You could add your description. This is a test video. You could add. Um, these are like previous tags that I've been using um, because I had a video that was uh, related to those tags, so automatically added from there. But you could just add uh, things like zoo, pictures. Um, Gorilla, I don't know, you know stuff like that. Test video. So you just add stuff like that, and then you could uh, size how you want to publish it. So you could have HD, large, m medium, mobile, and right here it says make this movie personal. This is just another long way of saying do you want it private or do you want it public. Obviously you want it public. So then after that, um, let's put that out of my password. Okay, it uh, won't sign in, but. That's not really my password, but um, you just click next, and then it'll just um, I think it'll ask you some more questions, and then it'll just uh, automatically import, and then it'll give you an estimated time and all that good stuff. Uh, right here, you could add it to your mobile me gallery if you have a mobile me account. Um, that will help you. And then if not, if you do, you sh uh, if you want to, you could do what I do. What I do is I merely export the video. This is so I can have that backup. So if I um, if I want to go back to this video again. And it's uh, QuickTime. Uh, it usually saves QuickTime if I do it in HD. If not, it usually saves as an iMovie um, file. And this allows me to go back and edit and all that stuff and view it again. So usually I export it and then upload it to YouTube. That means I have an extra copy. 
uh, you can export using QuickTime. Uh, this is if you want to. This is um if you add it if you export it in a way other than an HD, but you still want it as a QuickTime file, then you can click that. But if you click export file right here, and then you put it in HD, it will automatically do it in a QuickTime file. And then here you can export to Final Cut, um, XML, all that good stuff. So you have Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, all that stuff. It'll automatically export to Final Cut Pro. Because lots of YouTubers, um, lots of I know, like, um, lots of famous YouTubers, lots of well known YouTubers, they use iMovie, like I'm using right now, as well as Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express to, uh, add some more zinc to their videos. So that might be something you do if you have that software on your, um, Mac. So now you know how to share your video. So this is pretty much the end of our tutorial, our basic um, intro to iMovie tutorial. I will be having another video showing uh, two um, special effects. I will be showing how to do the cloning feature and how to do the teleporting feature. So please stay tuned and thanks for watching. While you're recording so you can know what you're recording with.